In this video, we'll be working with function notation. So hopefully by now, uh, you're very comfortable with the idea of what a function is. And because we're going to be working with functions throughout this whole course, we're going to introduce function notation to help us analyze and work with functions easier. Okay? Um, it might look a little confusing to begin with, but you know what? It's, it's really the same as what you did before. It just looks a little different. So function notation, uh, let's just take a look at what we've written here. So this is f of x. That's how you read this. You have to say f of x or f at x. And what you had before in grade 9 or grade 10, you would have f of x, you would have y. Okay, so why did we replace it? Because when you write it, uh, write f of x, uh, that's function notation, it's really clear as to what's happening, okay? So when you think of a function, you can think of it as a machine. So you sub in a value into the machine, that's called your input, and then it does something, and then it spits it back out. So f of x, yes, it's, it's your y value, but it's also the output, okay? And uh, in this case, we name the function f. Uh, you could call it g or h, uh, but we usually like the letter f, you know, because f for function, why not? So what you have in the brackets here, that's your input. That's what you're subbing into the machine. So what we have here is f of x is equal to, in this case, uh, square root all of x squared plus one. So th this is the directions like what, what is the machine going to do with the input value? In this case, you're gonna square it. You're gonna square your input, add by one, and then take the square root of that sum. Okay, so one more time. Input, the whole f of x is your output, and of course you can name the function. So, you know what, let's practice. f of x is equal to 2x squared minus 4. Okay, beautiful. So f is the name of the function, f of x is the output, x is the input. So they're asking me to find what f of negative 2 is. No problem, I know exactly what to do. Um, I, I can find the output when the input is negative 2 because I have the directions, I have the instructions, I know exactly what to do to the input. I'm gonna square it and then multiply it by 2 and take that product and uh, subtract it by four. Okay, so f of negative two is basically saying, what is the output when the input of the function is negative two? So you know what, let's just do the calculation. In grade nine or 10, you would say, let x equals negative two and solve for y. So follow bed mass, four, two, eight, four. Okay, so once again, another function here. Now this one, this is actually a constant function. As you can tell that from the instructions or the directions, it, it doesn't depend on x. It's f of x is always equal to one. So f of negative two is equal to one. It doesn't matter what your input is. The output will always be one. That's why it's called a constant function. Okay, let's go over here. f of x equals 2x uh, over x squared minus 3. I have the instructions. I can find the output when x is negative 2, or when the input is negative 2. So that's negative 4 over 1, which is negative 4. Okay, so input, output. So input for the for 1c is negative 2, and the output, when the input is negative 2, the output is negative 4. Perfect. Okay, so in this example, we have the input is not 2 or x, it's x minus 2, so no problem. So every time we see x, we replace it with the input, which is x minus 2. No problem. And of course, after you uh, uh, sub in the input as x minus two, we're gonna simplify this, okay? Expand and simplify. So a perfect square trinomial, and then distribute the negative three, 
collector like terms, negative four, I think, so negative seven X, six, five, one, or six, five, four, that's my 15, there we go. So when the input is X minus two for H of X, um, the output is X squared minus seven X plus 15. And there we go. Okay, now what if we're working with a, with a word problem here? So let D of V be the braking distance in meters of a car traveling at V kilometers per hour. Explain the meaning of D of 30 equals 25 and D of 10 equals B. So let's do D of 30 equals 25 first. So when the input is 30, the output for the function is 25. What is the input in this case? V, which is kilometers per hour. So D of 30 equals 25 means if, let me just write. So D of 30 equals 25 means when we travel at 30 kilometers per hour, the braking distance is, what's the output? 25, right? The braking distance is 25 meters and d of 10 equals v means exactly the same input is 10 output is v means when we travel at 10 kilometers per hour the braking distance is V meters. Okay, so think of the, the functions in terms of input and output, because that's gonna help with the, with the next unit as well. Okay, so a, pounds, a town's population T after it was incorporated is given by the function P of T equals 30,000 plus 2,000 T. Um, this is very reminiscent of what you did in grade nine. This is a linear function. Uh, so you can think of it as like the Y, like what you said in grade nine would be like uh, initial value is 30,000, the rate of change is 2,000 people per year, or you can say the Y intercept is 30,000 and the slope is 2,000. Uh, anyways, uh, they want us to solve this equation and interpret the meaning uh, when P of T is 50,000. So, okay, so P of T is 50,000. When the output is 50,000, we can solve for the input. We can solve for T. Okay. One second. Uh, all right, so T is equal to 10. <clears throat> so what does that mean? The input needs to be 10 in order to achieve an output of 50,000. Okay, so that means, therefore, after 10 years, because T is time in years after it's incorporated, so after 10 years, the population is 50,000. Okay, so when the input is 10, the output is 50,000. And since um, you know the output is the population and T is the time in years after it's incorporated, then that's the meaning. All right, so we have f of x is 3x minus 4, g of x is 5x squared minus 4. Uh, determine and simplify uh, f of g of x. You know what? This might look uh, challenging, but break it apart. G of X is the input. So you're working with F of X and your input is G of X. So it will no longer be F of, oh sorry, it will no longer be three X. You can write it as three times G of X minus four. But wait a minute, what is G of X? G of X is five X squared minus four, okay? So since we know g of x, we can we can just substitute that. 
Anyways, distribute the three. So 15 x squared minus 12 minus four minus 16. And that's it. That's f of g of x. So that's function notation. And um, I know it might look confusing to begin with, but really it's, it's the same as what you did before, but it's providing you more information. It's, it's, it's making our life easier because it's showing us the input. Uh, and that will be very, very helpful down the road.